guys so next up is amc uh i have my lines and graphs already set we're starting from a higher time frame that being the daily interval this allows us to find the overall direction and trend that our stock is in our support and resistance signs our exits our targets and all that good stuff so let's go ahead and dive in so uh yesterday we closed at uh, almost down 10 percent and this morning we're down almost one percent at 12.58 okay um <clears throat> you can see that man we just had this huge huge push all the way up into our major resistance line so let me go into our support and resistance lines real quick for our new viewers and then i'll break down to where we're at okay so this top line is our major resistance line these are our new candlesticks that came up and retested this area it tried to create a breakout with this tight consolidation that we have right here it ultimately failed you guys it got pushed down all the way down to our minor resistance down here okay so back over here we can see that we tested this area and failed as well we tested this area about three times over here and then this candlestick over here so this is a very very heavily tested area you guys this is a very respected area and you can see that once we got to this level that it said no 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 there's basically a wall here and basically pushed us all the way back down to our next level over here and then down here you guys is our major support level you can see we bounced over here bounced over here and over here and then underneath we, it works as resistance you can see over here so these are heavily tested areas you guys so let's go into where we're at. Let me first check the volume. The volume's at 629,000. Okay. So we're above that 150,000 threshold that we like to see, you guys. <clears throat> so you can see that after we got rejected in this area, we gapped all the way down. Not quite down to our support level. We want to see that to at least push all the way down to our support level to further confirm on the direction that we are headed. Obviously, as of right now, we are in this downward trend. We are below the trend line as well on the rsi it doesn't show that we're oversold just yet you guys uh we actually have a quite a bit of room left before we can say that we are oversold uh let me first go down to down the one hour interval and what this allows us to do is to actually see these individual candlesticks that we see here but in more detail and uh, basically provides us more information to predict our technical analysis okay so uh, the one hour chart you can see that we came down and uh starting to try to push up However, you guys, we have all this prior, uh, I'm sorry, this prior pivots over here and that more than likely that we'll pull and continue this downward trend until we test this uh, level of support. So we want to be able to actually test this level of support before getting in to show that buyers are here and buyers are willing to step up and, uh, and from there that could be a good ideal entry. So around the $11.80 area could be an ideal entry. Have your stop loss on the opposite side of that support line maybe have it around 1150 or uh 1160 you guys could be a great stop loss please don't give me crap about using stop loss you guys this is a professional channel this is not a diamond hand ape channel okay i only get problems from people that trade gamestop and amc it's every single time i have three or four people that say why do you stop loss because we trade professional we know what money management is okay and that is must needed into the market if you don't have money management in the market you will blow up your account okay maybe you're getting lucky now but from a year from now i promise you you will not still be here this is why i've been doing this for six years plus and have never blown up an account don't even know what that is all right back onto where we're at so that'd be the first ideal entry you guys is for us to pull back down to the 11 dollar and 80 cent area or 87 cent area that could be the first uh ideal entry um however the other one uh, i don't really see happening that soon but it would be back up here at the 14 22 cent area or 14 dollars and 22 cent area if we can come back to this area and break above it and come back down and retest it as a support level that could be another great ideal entry however we are a bit away from that level so more than likely we will we'll first test our support level before anything okay you guys so <clears throat> let's be patient let's wait for the best opportunity that we can get and that's why we do this so that way we can catch the max gains okay so let's just be patient and wait for this to retest our support level and then further confirm on where we are headed, okay? So if you guys enjoy this video or uh, learned anything, please hit that like and subscribe button. It allows me to create this content for you guys Monday through Friday. But other than that, I hope you guys have a beautiful day and happy trading.